All right, I want to calculate another antiderivative. Let's find the antiderivative e to the square root of x. This is another one that illustrates this technique of the rationalized and substitution. And this is a pretty friendly one here, right? You're going to take u equal to the square root of x. And then du will equal dx over 2 square root of x. And since the square root of x is u, this is the same thing as saying 2u du equals dx. That is, we took this equation right here, we cleared the denominators and replaced the square root of x with u. Um, and so if you make those substitutions in there, uh, we then get the integral of e to the u is the first part, and then dx becomes 2u du, like so. Or we could write this as 2 integral of u e to the u du. And this is a classic one to do integration by parts with. Uh, for which, if we're doing integration by parts, we'll set u equal to u. That's pretty convenient. Um, and then dv will equal e to the u du. And that way, du equals du. That was also convenient. And then v equals e to the u, like so. Uh, and then applying that to this function right here, we get 2 times u e to the u minus the integral of e to the u du for which we can see very quickly that the antiderivative e to the u is itself e to the u plus a constant. So our antiderivative with respect to u is 2u e to the u plus 2 e to the u plus a constant. And then replacing, uh, replacing this u with the square root of x, we get 2 square root of x e to the square root of x plus 2 e to the square root of x plus a constant. For which you could you could factor that thing. There's a two and a e to the square root of x. That's common to both of them. And so this u or this rationalization substitution works out really nicely a lot of the times. So you get something like the following. Oh, whoops! I made a I made a mistake. Let me fix that. Uh, there should be a minus sign here. Uh, a minus sign was a consequence of the integration by parts. Like though. Sorry about that mistake. So rationalization substitution works out really nicely, right? Because the idea is. Um, the square root is self-similar to its derivative, and you can manipulate that similarity to help you with these substitutions.